What is up, real estate experts? Clayton Gitz here coming to you live from Richmond, Virginia. So stop giving from an empty cup. Guys, this, this right here, this, this one slide has been more impactful for, uh, for my life, for our real estate business, for my wife, for her business. This one slide uh, is the expression of, of what became uh, a, a springboard for our business, for our businesses, for our relationship, for our uh, relationships, for our wealth, uh, on and on and on. So let me let me tell you what you're looking at here. This is this has been such a game changer. If you have, if you are uh, a real estate agent and you have a uh, um, uh, you're, whether you're by yourself or you have a team, when you align your personal goals with your professional goals and you bring that into the workplace and, and you find you find accountability, which we're going to talk about here in just a second, guys, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. So let me let me uh, let me start here. So purpose. So there's a lot of talk out there about why there's a lot of negative talk about finding your finding your your why. Uh, um, you know, people are kind of knocking it because it's been around, you know, that's been around for a while now. I, I guys, we need to know why we're doing what we're doing. You know, when we wake up each and every day, do, do are we waking up saying, oh my gosh, it's Wednesday, it's it's uh, it's Thursday, it's Friday, it's Tuesday, it's Monday, I got to go do this all over again. Or are we waking up inspired? Are we waking up inspired? The people that wake up inspired, wake up on purpose. The people that wake up inspired know who they are. They know why they're here. They're in touch with why, with their reason for existing, right? That That's the why. That's the purpose. It's getting in tune with why you're doing what you're doing. And if you're not there, then it's spending the time figuring out why you're here, why you're doing what you're doing, right? So you start there. And then these six foundational areas, this is so huge. One of my early, early mentors uh, told me, uh, if you work harder on yourself than you do on anything else, then, then you'll start to attract the kind of relationships, attract the kind of business opportunities, attract all the things that lead to success when you work harder on yourself than you do anything else. That changed my life. So where does it start? It starts with faith. It starts with spirituality, right? Faith, family, friends, fitness, finance, and fun. Once you know, like spirits, I'm a Christian, right? And, and you, know, you, you, you do you. But the one thing each and every day that my wife and I can rely on that if we do that, everything else becomes easier or just unnecessary is read the Bible, right? That's the one thing spiritually that we know that we can do. What's yours, right? And by the way, um, uh, that, that little one, that one thing, really amazing book, the one thing. So uh, family, what's the one thing that you can do today that if so by doing everything else becomes easier or, un, or, or just unnecessary with your family? Maybe it's being present with your family, sp spending time, uh, intentional time where you are present, wherever you are, be there. Friends, our relationships, it's so, man, it's one of the things that I've neglected is, is, is scheduling the time to spend time with friends and with family. Uh, fitness, what's the one thing that you and I can do today that if so by doing everything else becomes easier or just unnecessary, guys? It's just moving. It's just moving. So many of us neglect you know, feeling good about yourself, having energy when we when we are building relationships, when we're building our business, when we are when we're smiling and dialing for, for the real estate agents out there, when we're communicating with clients, having energy that comes through on the phone where they're like, whoa, who is this guy? Who is this gal? Right. It's 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 contagious. Negative energy is as well. When you feel really good about yourself and you have good energy, it's guys, it's, it's so much easier to attract the kind of people that you want into your world. Finances, right? If your finances are jacked up, it spills over into every other category. What's the one thing that you can do each and every day financially that is so by doing everything else becomes easier or unnecessary for us? It was paying off all of our personal debt. That's been our, we've been on that, that, uh, that, um, a treadmill for the past, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine years, I guess. And, uh, and that, that, that's our thing is paying off personal debt. We leverage our investment debt. We pay off personal debt. We just sleep better at night doing that. What's your one thing. And then fun, like, like, let's have some fun while we're doing this. Most of us, many of us, especially high performers are work, 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 work. And we forget to schedule the fun guys. And that's, that's the next piece of this equation is once you have that one thing that you need to do, like, like reading the Bible every day, for example, schedule it. So if you look at my calendar, it says miracle morning, actually it's what it starts at 5.00 AM, you know, every day. And part of that miracle morning for me, another really good book, if you haven't read it, 
Hal Elrod uh, is, is read the Bible, right? It's, it's scheduled, right? Um, my fitness time is scheduled in the morning. My personal development time is scheduled in the morning. So I'm, I'm checking those boxes before, before a lot of people, you know, even wake up. So what are you doing to, to schedule that time? What are you doing to schedule your family time, to schedule your relationship time, your fitness time, your finance time, and your fun time? Put it in your calendars. And then lastly, and this is the game changer, is having men and women in your world that hold you accountable to just, just crushing it in these categories, guys. When you spend time with men and women that are that are that fill you up instead of instead of like you know take energy away from you that that motivate you that inspire you that you can grab onto their coattails and not be intimidated by it you just know that they're going in the direction that you want to go in and you want to you want to go with them and you're going to get faster your relationship's going to be better for being in relationship for having a, a, an accountability a relationship, a really strong marriage that you can rely on to give you advice and to help you people you can look to when you're struggling in your own marriage or uh, same thing with finances. Who's a, do you have a really good wealth advisor, a, a financial advisor that, that is helping you get to where you want to go? Does your financial advisor um, make as much money as you do, right? Some, someone just posed that question to me and I was like, that's interesting. I need to actually think about that. Um, and, and each of these categories, when you have, when you schedule it and you have someone that is, that is, uh, literally like really holding you accountable guys, this is the formula that changed everything for my wife and I, we preach this in our company mission realty. Uh, we, we, um, we ask our agents for their permission for us to be able to hold them accountable to not only their professional goals, but their personal goals. And when you help people become the best versions of themselves, everything changes. Let's grow.